Da Jia Hao, my name is Garrick. Welcome back to Taiwan Lao Wai. So it's been a while since I filmed my last video, uh, eating at Zia. I filmed that video on the first of June. It is now the seventh of July. So it, it has been over a month since I filmed the video. I keep trying to get out and about and and film more stuff so I don't get behind. The problem is right now it is too freaking hot to do anything. Yeah, we are once again in the thick of summer and the temperatures have been brutal lately. Like the past few weeks it has never dropped below 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's hard to get out and about and do stuff when all you want to do is find somewhere with AC and freaking melt there for as long as you can. That said, I do want to still keep going out and doing stuff. I don't want to just stagnate through the whole of summer. And luckily there are a few things close by that can keep me busy until it starts cooling down a little and we can be a bit more active. First though, I gotta shake off some of this rust because it's been a while since I filmed. I'm a little out of practice, so yeah. Anyways, we are currently in the Shin Kong Mitsukoshi uh, mall complex, which is like very close to the Tomlin Plaza I showed you like way back last year sometime. It's a smaller mall, it's only got like five floors and a food court in the basement, which in case you can't tell, that is where we are now. But I figured this is a good place to stop for lunch, there are a lot of restaurants in here I really like going to. So we are going to get ourselves nourished and then we are going to do something fun. Stopping by a place we have not tried yet. Uh, this over here is an udon stall. It's like a very quick service joint. Everything is put together in like two minutes. They give you your udon fresh and you get a selection of like fried accompaniments that you can choose from as well. Uh, I went for the beef udon with some eggs and I've got myself a vegetable croquette, some fried chicken, and whatever this is, I am not entirely sure. I guess we'll find out. Total cost was 294 NTD for a lunch this big. I think that's pretty reasonable. Woo, look at those go. I swear to God, it is so hard to eat soup and film at the same time. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, that's good. I don't always go for udon, I usually prefer ramen, but I really do like the, the thick, springy texture of noodles like these. Mm. Let's give the broth a shot too. Mm. Yeah, it's very flavorful, very beefy, I approve. It's just a, a darn good bowl of noodle soup right here. I should really get udon more often, these noodles are so fun to eat. Holy heck, okay, I just took a bite of the beef as well. This sheesh is flavorful. Mmm. That's so umami, my god. Now keep in mind, this was all like very fast food style. They had the noodles cooking already, they had all their components ready to just put in a bowl, and it still tastes this delicious. Mm-mm-mm. I should eat here more often. It's really good. All right, let's give these fried foods a try as well. I'll start with the veggie croquette and see where that takes me. Liking the look of this interior. Let's hope it tastes good as well. That's very refreshing. I'm going to dunk it in the soup broth and see if that makes it even better. Mm -hmm. That makes it even better. That's a very lovely little salt lick there, I want to say. It's like very mildly salty. It's almost sweet from, I guess, the, the mashed potato that makes up the majority of it. I'll admit I have not had many Japanese-style croquettes before. Clearly, I need to try them out more often. Next up, fried chicken. This is a big old lump of meat. Let's see how we get in here. That is what I have come to expect. Uh, from Taiwanese fried chicken. It's very gelatinous on the inside. The skin is like crisp and shattery and battery. Usually when I get Taiwanese fried chicken, it's served in like little nuggets. So to get a 
gigantic piece of it like this with the same sort of style and consistency. It's it's very interesting. All right, people have sat down next to me. I'm gonna have to keep this uh, recording pretty low key for the next couple minutes. All right, fried matchstick vegetables, whatever these guys are. Let's see. I guess that's like carrots and zucchini and stuff like that. They're all right. They're decent. Honestly, they are. The veggie croquette is the only fried thing I've gotten that I'd say is like super worth it. The others are just okay. I wanted to get some fried shrimp, but unfortunately they were out uh, when I rolled around, which makes me very sad because I love the Japanese fried shrimp. Whatever, c'est la vie. This is still a very good lunch. It's gonna make my stomach very happy. I will see you again once I'm finished and recovered in the AC as we head off to our actual plans for the day. Peace. might have been a bad idea, as tasty as it was. <laughs> but on the bright side, I won't need dinner until a lot later, so I can enjoy the rest of my day unburdened. Anyways, if you take a look up there, we are on the north side of the Taiyuan train station right now, and we are heading toward the Taiyuan Railway Pavilion Museum. I have no idea what that's going to be. I literally just found it on Google Maps as I was, you know, looking for stuff to do earlier today. But hopefully it will be interesting enough to justify making a video out of. So I will see you there. <laughs> This building right here is the Railway Pavilion Museum. It looks like it's gonna be pretty small, that is fine. We will head in and see what there is to see. Ah, so you enter outside this way. Good to know. station stuff is because this is you know very clearly taken from or at least modeled after uh, old train platforms in Taiwan so I wonder what era this is from it doesn't look that old I'd probably guess like the the 70s or 80s maybe but I don't know all the signs are Chinese only so there's only so much information I can gleam sad
So that was a lot more interesting than I was expecting. I sort of figured uh, this museum would be all about uh, Taiwan's railway past, but no, it's actually about the future of railway in Taiyuan City. So for context, right now, Taiwan does not really have any railway lines. There's the one major railway that passes through Taiwan as it works its way uh, around the entirety of the island, but that's pretty much it. Everything else is buses. But it looks like there are extensive plans underway to build a whole subway system uh, underground here in Taiwan with like multiple routes heading toward every direction of the city. No idea how long it will take to finish, but I gotta tell you, I will be very excited if I'm still here when it's ready to go. The metro systems I've used in other cities have always been really convenient, really easy to use. So if Taiwan gets something like that, it is gonna make life here so much easier. I can go to like all sorts of places that probably seemed a bit too out of way before. I'll be able to show you so many corners of the city that I've been holding out on visiting because I'm worried about the logistics of all the, the bus lines and transfers I need to make. But I get the feeling that's still pretty far in the future, so maybe if I'm still doing this like 10, 20 years later, we'll take a look. For now though, I think I'm gonna call that the end of the video. This will probably end up being a shorter one, but considering the weather we're dealing with, I'll take what I can get. We will be out of this heat eventually. For now, I'm just gonna stay calm and drink lots of water and fight my way through the summer one day at a time. I actually have a really cool vacation uh, lined up soon, but you probably are not going to see that for quite some time, so more news on that probably next year eventually. For now, thank you once again for joining me at Taiwan Lao Wai. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, smash the bell, share with your friends, all that good stuff. Hopefully that sort of got my uh, recording juices back in motion so I can start filming more videos fairly regularly. I like having a backlog, what can I say? And as always, I will see you next time. Zai Jian. Bye bye.